Insurance companies are using drones and high-altitude balloons to spy on homes and deny coverage. Mainly in California. This might be coming soon to a city near you. Let's get into it. Here we go. Up, up here, up there, over there, over there. <laughs> Drones sometimes fly over C.J. Sven's Oakley house. He never thought much of it until now. Apparently they have some pictures and noticed clutter. C.J. was shocked when he got this notice from his longtime home insurance carrier, CSAA. Set up for non-renewal. They're going to be terminating <laughs> our homeowner's insurance policy. His house isn't in a you fire zone. Are and he's done. never filed a single claim in 15 years. Instead, the notice said CSAA found clutter, hazardous waste, tires, and a dilapidated car in his yard. But how... How many of your neighbors does that describe? I can think of a handful in my neighborhood in Bellevue. Yeah, right. It's just not that uncommon. Plus, is that a reason to deny insurance coverage? I mean, the risk there, okay. Could they make such a claim? No one had been by to inspect the house. So CJ called the company. They said, oh, well, no, we sent over a drone. I'm like, oh, they have a drone that they sent over my property and I don't know, flew down into my yard. <laughs> they said, we had a drone. We've seen your house, your property. That's why we're denying you. Correct. He says CSAA would not let him see the drone photos or give him a chance to clear his yard. And she mentioned, oh, well, no, at this point, it's too late. Uh, we're not going to reconsider. But CSAA later told CJ it did not use a drone. Instead, it reviewed aerial images taken by fixed plane or satellite. Still, the company would not show those images to CJ or to Seven on your side. We flew our own drone to show how it looks from up there. That's a pretty clean yard. That's a good looking roof. He's got a solar system up there. I mean, that, although, has this been cleaned up for this news story? I mean, one, one is led to believe. Yeah, he's got some clutter, but does this count for something that you could say, no, nope, this house is going to burn up? Well, yeah, no, right? It's not dangerous. It's not neglected. I mean, we are back here. We are using these things. CJ also took me on a ground-level tour and admits the yard is cluttered, but he's a do-it-yourself guy. Uh, this is my original, my first car that I got. He's res- Corvair. I had a 62 Corvair. It was cool. Turbocharged. Air cool. During his 1966 Chevy, it's still in pretty good shape for going through a teenager's <laughs> a little bit of rust. But he installed his own solar panels and he changes his own tires each season. He says it's a lifestyle, not a hazard. <laughs> we were just found guilty and punished, and we had no idea, no warning, no uh, opportunity to mitigate the situation. CJ complained to the State Department of Insurance. In a reply, the company said images showed quote. Debris that resembles wood and cardboard. A gray truck with debris on the bed. A tan vehicle with debris on top. Yeah, I kind of was offended. I, you know, how dare you judge me for my stuff? I, I have. Are, are they saying these are fire hazards? Is that what they're saying? Because, I mean, a lot of people have that stuff, right? Yes, I have stuff. The company also said, while you may have had your insurance with the company for many years, paid your premiums and not filed claims, those factors are not considerations when evaluating property risk. Sorry, you know, mm. we're done. You know, have a nice day. Out of here. What do I do? I, I don't understand. You go get a new policy. Insurance companies are increasing. And what, what you're hearing is, I think the reality is, so much of this is California. This is a California issue. That's because in California, you've got state laws that have restricted insurance companies from what they can charge. And so they've basically said, without going through this horrific process, it's over-regulation. Insurance companies have been over-regulated in, in California, from my understanding, from my perspective. And so, you know, you've got this increased risk with the wildfire hazard. Fires are coming, burning up homes. It's a risk for the insurance companies. You've got, you know, what some people perceive as climate change. Things are getting hotter. It's sunnier all the time. Greater fire hazard. You've got so much of this stuff. And these insurance companies, they're basically saying, this isn't really worth our risk. We're out of here. And so they will use, whether it's, it's warranted or not, they will use just any excuse they can to get out of that California market because it's not a good market. 
So I think that's something, you know, that this, that this news story didn't really focus on because that, nah, that's not exactly the story that you want to have out there. Yeah. Don't move to California because you can't get, you know, home insurance. And I've done the podcasts on, okay, your home insurance has gone from this to this. So it's one more reason why California may not be the greatest state to, to buy a home, to reside. This is one of those factors, right? And it's over-regulation from the state that's created this kind of situation. And home insurance companies, they can just they can insure somebody up in another state and say, sayonara, we'll see you later. We don't need your policy. Go F yourselves. Plus, you, you, you got a you got a Corvair in the backyard that's got some stuff on it. I mean, you got a '66 Corvair. We can't have that. Home insurance companies are increasingly using aerial images from drones and even high altitude balloons. Remember when we were told all UFOs were weather balloons? Yeah. Well, got a balloon as a tool to dump property, seen as higher risk. I think that it's not necessarily higher risk. It's just homes in California. All right, let's get those off our books. How can we do that? And mass. Uh, let's take some aerial images. Let's buy some aerial images from whomever. I fly a drone a lot. I fly a DJI Mavic 2, I believe. It's a cool drone. I mean, it just, yeah. Angry homeowners are reported losing their coverage after being told they had damaged roof shingles, debris in the backyard, or having undeclared items such as swimming pools or trampolines. Hey, you got a swimming pool in your backyard. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Here's the footage. Doesn't sound like the insurance companies want to give up that footage, though, because then they might have a little bit of liability. You're dropping my coverage over this? Really? All right. I'll see you in court. Most people don't go there, though, right? They just go ahead and, all right, I'll just go get a new policy from somebody else. Some of these policies have just got really expensive. We've seen a dramatic increase across the country in reports from consumers who have been dropped by their insurers on the basis of an aerial image. Amy Bach, executive director of United Policyholders, a consumer advocacy group, told the journal, no home is safe from surveillance. The Geospatial Insurance Consortium, that's quite a name, an industry-founded group that carries out aerial insurance commissions, said it has photographed 99% of homes in the U.S. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting, right? Hmm. All right. It's kind of like Google Street Map doing its thing. You have those cars with those wacky cameras on top. Yeah, you could fly a drone pretty quickly over an area, get some video. You can break that video down. I mean, it's 4K. I mean, it is high resolution. You don't even have to fly that close. You can fly 400 feet up, get a decent image. I do it all the time. I'm not looking for looking at people's homes. I'm out looking at the mountains. I'm looking at, you know, lake and whatnot. It's cool stuff. You know, it's just like flying a remote control airplane, but people think, oh, a drone, they're spying on me. Yeah, you don't have anything in your home that I'm interested in spying on. So one of those homes belonged to Cindy Picos, a Northern California resident from the town of Auburn, who said her coverage was yanked last month after the insurer took an aerial photos of her roof. Uh-oh, uh-oh, got pictures of your roof? Not in your bedroom window? roof okay the underwriter told picos that the roof had lived in its life expectancy you no longer have any remaining physical life expectancy on your roof so she told the journal that she had recently hired an independent inspector who said the roof was good another 10 years insurance companies don't care they're trying to get you off the books they don't care how they do it they throw out some weak ass excuse like this i ah, got drone image you got a corvair in your backyard don't like you Probably fans of Ralph Nader, right? Remember that whole thing? Didn't like the Pintos, Ford Pinto. Didn't like the Corvairs. Yeah. Had that whole issue where you had the gas tank mounted in the back, and if you rear-ended one, poof. And that was a story anyway, right? The insurer declined to reconsider, she said. It also refused Pico's request to see that photos in question, a decision she called absolutely wrong. So it's home insurance. and Nobody said you're going to get any. You know what I mean? It's like, where do you live, California? Okay. All right. Well, it's been an issue for a long time, hasn't it? Yeah. And this is just one more of those reasons you may want to reconsider. Ah, but it's the greatest state ever. Okay. Well, go get that home insurance. Let me know how that goes. Including farmer's insurance, state farm and all state. 
pause or restrict coverage, saying that they can't afford to take on new clients. Last month, State Farm announced it would drop coverage for 30,000 residential and 42,000 commercial properties in California. Huh. Interesting. They're not necessarily, co- you know, dropping coverage elsewhere, are they? What's up with that? What's up with that? Yeah. Well, uh, we talked about it. We talked about it. I mean, it is what it is. So, meanwhile, home and auto insurance companies continue to report robust profits. Uh oh. It's a little double sided, isn't it? Yeah. We need to get, I mean, yeah. <laughs> when you're getting rid of all the riffraff, meaning any homes in California, yeah, statistically, you're on to a better average, right? On to a better average based on their data, their science. This was fueled by steep rate increases and no major wildfires in recent last couple of years, right? Premiums for U.S. homeowners insurance jumped by an average of 21% from May of 2022 to May of 2023. They've just gone through the roof. Everything's gone through the roof, hasn't it? Welcome to Joe Biden's America. Hmm, yeah. According to a study by online insurance marketplace, Policy Genius, that eclipsed the staggering 12% rise from the previous year. Just everything's going up. Everything is going up. Cost of a new roof, just going up. You got lumber, you got materials, you got labor. It's all going up, right? The use of aerial images to drop clients prompted Nicole Brink, a Michigan resident, to quit her job at Farmers last year, according to the journal. But it's not just farmers. It's every one of these insurance carriers. And they will have any excuse they can to drop you because your home, depending on where it's located, doesn't make sense for them to continue coverage on. It's a loser. It's a liability. They run the numbers. It's like they're using anything as an excuse to get people off their books, Brink said. It's not like. That's exactly what they're doing. She said farmers would send non-renewal notices if they found somebody had a trampoline on their property. You ever had a trampoline? I haven't. I had a mini trampoline in high school because I was supposed to jump on it, help my running career, um, you know, help the, help your calves, right? Ah, you got that whole bouncing motion. It was a thing from the uh, mid eighties. So never had a full-time tramp, a full-size trampoline. Plus just jumping on a trampoline, not really my thing. Yeah, swimming pool, not my thing either. Swimming pool, such a headache in the appraisal world. And, um, you know, if you disclose that there's a built-in trampoline in an appraisal, that doesn't work out well. Because a lender is like, oh, we got some liability here. Some four-year-old's going to crack their head when they fall off the trampoline or they're going to drown in the swimming pool. Swimming pool, no go. I had an appraisal way back in the day that had a, a fuel pump. It had a, you know, Underground pump had been installed, uh, underground tank had been installed long ago. Gas company. It was a big acreage deal. It was like 16 million bucks. This is like 20 years ago. It was, it was a compound. It was massive, but they, you know, had enough farm equipment on the property, even though it was overlooking the, the, uh, Puget Sound. They had enough farm equipment to, where they, they had a fuel pump. So they had some fuel company come up, deliver fuel every now and then. And they just, ah. Fill up the lawnmower, let's fill up the tractor, let's fill up the whatever it was that was taking care of bringing stuff on and on to their site. But um, I disclose that uh, that that said property had a fuel pump and um, yeah, they were denied a loan. I don't know whatever happened with that. That loan officer died not that long after from cancer, I think it was. Oof, yeah. Customers were also dropped if moss was found on the side of their vacation home, according to the journal. Mm, okay. All right. That looks like a Phantom 4 right there. It's a good drone. I got one of those too. Um, yeah. Brink alleged that farmers made these decisions using images that were fa- two to three years old. One customer was denied coverage because of a roof, despite the fact that it was brand new. You know, when you're going off these images, you got some joker looking at them at, at the insurance company, call it at farmers. It's going to look at it and go, yeah, let's flag it. Maybe they'll just go away. You're hearing the stories right now of people who didn't. She told the journal that her home was flagged because there was a tree branch that was hanging over her barn. Like like we've said, these insurance companies don't care. It's all about money for them, right? It's about profit. It's about bottom line. So if they know they can just jettison everybody from California, because that's literally what they're doing, right? You're down to just a few carriers in California. It's crazy. It's crazy. But it's based on perceived risk. 
It's based on the data. It's based on the science. And it's based on the fact that the insurance companies don't want to insure in certain areas like California. There's other high-risk areas that same thing. But we just hear about California more and more and more as a place where it's like, oh, everything's so expensive. For Brink, it proved to be the last straw as she switched insurers and jobs. The Post has sought comment from farmers. Spokesperson for the company told the journal that the insurer regularly examines images of its insured properties and that customers have 60 days to correct any issue that is flagged. Unless they just arbitrarily drop you. Like, yeah, this is a non-renewal notice. Uh, Can I renew? No, you just got the non-renewal notice. We are no longer renewing you. And this all comes down to money, doesn't it? It all comes down to profits for the insurance companies. And like the article said, hey, profits are looking good. So why would they discontinue and just be, you know, nice about the fact, hey, so you got some debris on your whatever in the backyard. That might be a little bit of a fire hazard. Who knows? If you could clean that up, that'd be great. I had a, an issue on my home, uh, the one I'm actually in now. It was a rental at the time, but it had a it had a roof that just didn't look all that great. Yeah, it was probably towards the end of its life expectancy. But I had some moss on the roof as well. And the insurance company is like, oh, you got to get rid of that. I'm like, okay, yeah, but uh, it's a, it's not that old. And I think the roof had been replaced when I, when I bought the home in 03, something like that. And um, yeah, so I eventually got that cleaned up and they were happy to, you know, reassess my insurance needs and give me a new policy. Insurance in Washington state, that's one of those things. We've got relatively low insurance rates. And that's why people want to live here. Yeah. California, you've got a million and one reasons why things are so expensive. So much of it has to do with regulation. So this kind of thing that's happening in California now Expect that to happen in Washington state. Expect that to happen in Seattle and not too long. The big difference is, is we don't have the wildfires. We've got, you know, we, we've got fires. We've got some fires in Eastern Washington. Those pop up every year, but not like the ones that co- are coming down the canyons, right? Into California, into um, coastal areas and just wreaking havoc. You, you don't have that type of thing as much. And so this is all based on risk. But so much of what I think we're talking about here is just let's get them off of our books. Let's let's move on. Let's you know, let's bring somebody else in in Wisconsin where there's no fire hazard or whatever it is. You know, totally just making up situations right now. So but that's kind of that's kind of what the insurance companies are doing as well, too, right? All right, yeah. They're they're using weak excuses to get rid of business that they wouldn't be able to get rid of otherwise. So if you think about it, what they're coming up with, it makes sense because it's pretty hard to say, no, my backyard doesn't have that when you know that they might have an aerial of your home, whatever it might be, video, whatever. You can always take a still from a video, right? So, all right, that's it for me on this one. Insurance, it's an issue, especially in California. Thanks so much for supporting. Love to have you hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this content. Hit that, hit the bell for notifications. We drop two pieces of content Monday through Friday, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. Thanks again for being here. I'll catch up with you in the next one. Bye for now.